Hello everyone, I am Dominique Gamara, and in this video, I want to discuss uh, spiritual gifts and talents. Now, I know that we, uh, kind of in our society, we really place an in, in importance on finding what it is that we're good at and uh, what we should do with our talents and our gifts. Um, but I, I think that we've kind of gotten to the point, well, not kind of, we have gotten to the point where our gifts have become um, kind of like an idol. It's become a very, uh, very serious thing for us. And we place that before God. We place our talents, whatever we're good at, our musical ability, our writing, our athletic ability, whatever it is, we place that before God. And um, we prioritize. Our priorities are all kind of messed up in this area. And I'm speaking from personal experience here, not just what I've noticed. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about that today and just talk about how it's okay to know your gifts and know what you're good at, but it shouldn't be the main thing. We should not get caught up in discovering talents and, and improving talents more than we actually spend time with God. And I say that because God ultimately is the gift giver. He's the one that gave us our gifts. And I think it's in, important to make him number one before any of the stuff that we can offer to him. Um, it's important that we uh, repent and uh, know God and you know spend time with him in order to receive the true gift, which is the Holy Spirit. We need to repent, know God, believe, and receive the true gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's when, at that point, that's when God will show you where you need to be and what you need to do. Um, from personal experience, over the past three years, I've really kind of been going through a situation where I'm not sure what I am supposed to be doing and, you know, kind of not sure where I'm supposed to be. Uh, I knew what I was gifted in and knew what talents I had, but I wasn't really sure of, um, what path I was supposed to be on. And I put so much focus and energy on finding that uh, perfect path that I really made myself miserable. To be honest, the past few years have just been miserable mentally because I've just been ex just having so much energy and focus on the wrong thing, which was the gift in the talents that that was not what I was supposed to be focusing on. Instead, I should have focused on um, building my relationship with God and with Jesus first. That's not what I did. <laughs> and I remember a friend telling me this a couple of years back, but apparently it went in one ear and right out the other because it didn't click until like a few weeks ago um, that First comes God, comes comes uh, that experience with him, comes that relationship, that love relationship with God. And when God has your heart, that's when he'll give you an assignment. And that's where when he will tell you what, what to do and what you need to use, what gifts and talents you need to, to use in order to do it. Now, of course, when I say he's going to tell you, I'm not saying he's going to like come sit down on the couch with you and tell you what you need to do. Um, <laughs> that's not the way God works, uh, usually. So he can, he can lead and guide you, uh, through, um, your experiences and, and, um, other people in the church can kind of confirm certain things that you need to do and through prayer, through the, through reading the Bible. And I feel like that only comes when you've built a relationship with him. Because if he doesn't have your heart, he doesn't want any of the other stuff that you can offer him. Because ultimately, I mean, he gave you the gifts. So he, he you know, he has those already. But if he doesn't have your heart, anything that you do for him it won't even matter. He, that has to come first, the relationship, and then he sends you on an assignment. And honestly, you know, I think about people in the Bible who 
um, were just living their lives, doing their thing, and then God called them to do something. And it's like, why me? <laughs> you know, uh, for instance, Moses, he called him to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. And Moses didn't consider himself to be a leader. I mean, you can read in the Bible where he goes back and forth with, uh, with God. And he didn't consider himself to be a speaker. But God told him, hey, this is the assignment. And these are the gifts that I'm going to give you in order for you to complete the assignment. So it, as you can see, it, it worked out pretty well for him. Um, so I believe that the assignment comes first and then the gifts, um, he'll give you the gifts of whatever you need to accomplish the assignment. So you may find yourself with new talents and new gifts that you never imagined yourself having. And I'm just kind of hoping that, that that's something that also happens with me that, you know, God will open up opportunities beyond just um, music and because I'm a very creative person, but I feel like I probably have more talents than just, you know, music writing and whatever else, you know. Um, and so God will open up those talents for you, uh, open up those things for you. But first comes your relationship. So seek God first. Don't fake it because clearly he can tell <laughs> you, you can't trick God. He knows your heart. So seek him first. Um, give your heart to God and you may even get some new gifts and talents in the process. So I hope this video has been encouraging. I know people around my age um, and even younger, like early 20s, mid 20s, uh, late 20s, like myself, um, it's, this is kind of the age, the age range where you start to wonder like, okay, this isn't exactly panning out the way I expected. So I just wanted to kind of encourage you all. And even if you're older, same thing. Wanted to encourage you all and just let you know that, you know, seek God, um, build your relationship with him, and then let him lead and guide you because he will. If you, if you give him your heart, he will do that. So thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and like and share. Thank you so much.